Hey, what is up, everybody? It's Business Pig, and welcome back to the Crooked Man. We're in this law school. Uh, it's where we ended. We just unlocked um, the lecture halls, and uh, we just met up with D in the last episode, and we tried to warn him about the monster, and of course he was like, well, that's stupid, and you're crazy, I'm leaving, and I'm doing what I want. And there's a piece of paper on the ground here, apparently. Found a scrap from a notebook. What does it say? The rule matches these other pages. So he was here. Many hopes were fulfilled here. Many youths were blessed. But I didn't receive that blessing. What's so bad about me? I was never picked by anyone. It never made sense. I loathe those days. He had a leaflet for this school. It was in the desk. Felt like it was important. Was he trying to be a lawyer like D was? I guess this would imply he didn't become one. I guess not. Keyholes painted over. Auditorium. Let's see the point in painting over the keyholes if you're going to demolish the place anyways. What is the point in this room? Interesting. Hmm. What do I have? Crowbar. Oh, uh, I think I can change the screwdriver out for the hammer now. So I have the hammer and crowbar. Come back if I need anything else, yeah. But he said before when I unscrewed uh, the stuff, or I unscrewed the painting, it said that, um, hang on, I got, I got lost. I forgot where I was for a second. And that took all my attention. Um, what was I saying? Where was I going? What was I doing? Did I just lose my entire memory? What is this? Oh, I know what I was saying. When I unscrewed the painting from the wall and I found the one code, uh, David made a comment about not needing the screwdriver anymore. Okay, so that's painted over, meaning I'll never go in there. This is locked, and this is painted over. So I wonder... Let's see, do I have any keys? I have a crowbar. What about a hammer? No, I should probably save though. Hmm. Obviously can't go outside. What about downstairs? What if I use the hammer on these? No, nothing. Really, nothing on any of these? It's like a storeroom, it's locked. It's still just locked, huh? Well, I think David is lost. I need more codes. I do know that, because I think there's still two boxes that need to be unlocked. Michael's dissertation made into a... Oh, Michael was the one that was on the newspaper. Oh! Wait, maybe there were numbers I was supposed to pay attention to on that newspaper cl clipping. Okay, so... Him and her have the same birthday. Okay, so him and her have the same birthday. That means that I bet I bet his birthday is on the newspaper. And if his birthday is on the newspaper, then we'll know her birthday. And her birthday is the code to her safe. So his birthday is 619. So let's try 0619.
and I bet that'll work. Did I go up too high? No. Okay, so let's try. Zero six one nine. It worked. It contained the key to the lecture rooms. Ooh. So we have that key now. I think the lecture room is the one that is locked, but the keyhole is not painted over. So this one right here. Yeah. And there's another note on the floor. I knew there was something I lacked, but I didn't want to admit it. My ambitious youthfulness wouldn't let me. I wanted someone to say it. I wanted to be woken up to be told I'm a have-not. Lacking. A have-not. It's true. There are haves and have-nots. People whose dreams can come true and... Ugh. A again? Sometimes my head just starts hurting so bad. What? Finally. It... Uh... David, turn around. Maybe that's why your head was hurt. Oh, oh. <sighs> maybe that's why your head is hurting. Oh, why are his hands so big? He's choking me. D uh, monster, why are you, you chasing me? Is D going to knock him out? Oh no, I was knocked out. What's he gonna do with me? I'm... I'm alive? The monster's gone. I thought it would kill me, but it left. Ugh, my neck hurts and I feel so sluggish. I haven't really slept since yesterday. I should try to rest somewhere. Well, where can you rest? Oh, I can only walk slow now. 921 in the auditorium. Crime among the impoverished and its prevention. Ivan Abeletsev's criminal behavior, a psychological approach, will be referenced, so be sure to read it before coming. Professor of Criminology, Franz Moore. There's a notice about a seminar. So, 0921 and Franz. Let's check his room. I know it said that I should rest. And I can only walk at this slow pace now. But I just want to check the room. Lefty Lewis. McGuire. Okay, so Franz is also on the third floor. 0921, I think, right? Okay, no, this is Ray. Are you Franz? Yeah, Franz Moore. 0921? Oh, I can't even... Huh. Wait, what does his diary say? I lost the note with my security box password, thus I couldn't get into the computer room and the headmaster got angry at me. This is the worst. I thought I had it when I was writing for a seminar in the reference room. Maybe I left it in a book somehow. I should go look. If I used my ID as a password like Andrew does, then I wouldn't forget it, but that's risky. But if you just use whatever, then you have my problem. Oh, wait. There was a book out sitting out on the table in the reference room. And that sheet of paper that we just found was the seminar that I kept confusing for the seminar room. Okay. Let's check this out. What is this? Reference room. Okay, so this is. So we left this book out. They say that people despise those. Humans are curious and thinkable. Spies, which like you, not impossible. Never stood. Huh. Wait. Maybe that's not it. Do I have to go through every single book again? Oh! Criminal behavior, a psychological approach. That notice in the lecture room mentioned this. I don't understand a word of it. There's a slip of paper in here. What's the number? 9981. We got it. Okay. So before anything else happens, I need to start spastically saving in here. 
because I made that mistake once already with not doing that. Okay, and then Franz's room is up here in the East Hall. So it's 9981, I think. Is it? Perfect! Sweet! It contained the key to the computer room. I have no idea where the computer room is. It did say I should rest. Should I actually rest, though? I don't think so. So all of these are just rooms... Oh, wait, I can rest in the infirmary room. Because it has beds in there. Should I do that, or should I go to the computer room first? I'll go to the computer room first, and then I'll rest. And I'm assuming the computer room is up here? It's not that... Auditorium. Okay, so that's the room that I already unlocked. That was basically pointless. So where's the computer room then? Because the computer room isn't downstairs. In the basement, at least, that is. And we already have everything unlocked over here. Okay, I'll rest for now and see if that'll help it so that I can move faster. Take a little nap, pushing myself wouldn't be a good idea. Okay, so we'll see if after this nap and me resting, if I can move faster again. <sighs> I feel a lot better. All right, let's go. Sweet, okay. So I don't want to have to do that again, so I'm going to save. Try to find this computer room. Yeah, I know this is in it. Is it downstairs? Is it just is it just the room in the basement? No, it's not. Okay. That's just a storeroom. And then what rooms are over here? I'm still I'm still confused because this is the reference, right? Okay. Oh, computer room. I thought this room was unlocked for some reason. Sweet, and there's something over here in the trash can to investigate. It's overflowing. Lots of complicated papers. I don't understand any of them. Printed by Andrew Robinson, ID 144246, function of 1709. 1709, eh? For Andrew Robinson. Oh no. I don't like the random applause. What is that for? <clears throat> Friends, faculty, and staff, I thank you for coming today. We're glad to have a sunny graduation to start off the rest of our lives. There are ominous undertones to that. The future may be uncertain for some, but the persistence we learned here will make us resolute. A round of applause for my fellow graduates. I just, I don't like, I don't like the applause. What? The laptop? There's no power. But even as valedictorian, there's something I can't help but lament. It's about David Hoover. It's about David Hoover. He was highly skilled, kind to us all, and admired by pupils and teachers alike. We all expected he would be proudly standing with us this morning to graduate. But our hopes were dashed. By none other than the man himself. Hiding behind an innocent face, he's been fooling all his pupils and professors. What? Let me ask you all this, should he be forgiven? Can he escape punishment for betraying his friends and mentors? I didn't think so. He should forever be punished for what he has done to grant his selfish dreams. What did David do? Stop it. Stop! Paul, you're the lowest of low. Your dreams will never come true. Go off and die somewhere, coward. Die. 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 And everyone's yelling it to him. Just 
There's nothing I can do here. Stop! Oh, he broke the laptop. Dang, David, no. I'm, I'm not a coward. I, I just... Huh? I heard you scream. That was you? Jeez, you made me freak. What's the big idea, huh? Did something happen? Forget about it. Sorry for the surprise, it's nothing. Hey dude, you okay? You're super pale. Ah, I'm not okay, I'm tired. I'm just kind of tired. Oh, wait, David is too. We're both tired. Maybe I'm pale too. I came a long way, and I haven't slept. Leave me alone, I can't be bothered to talk. Have this. Huh? I already had a little, but it's an energy drink. Drink up. What, seriously? I don't need this. I told you, leave me be. Drink it! Jeez! You really look like you need food and drink, and I'm being nice, so accept my kindness. Alright. Thanks. But what's all this from the guy who was calling me a shady punk? Mostly because you look like crap, dude. Come on, it's not like I'm heartless. I mean, I am trying to be a lawyer. Besides, maybe it's fate. Tell you what, I won't call you shady anymore. Now cheer up. You could be my client once I'm a lawyer. Huh, <laughs> that's a quick turnaround. I'm grateful at any rate. Say, have you seen anyone else around, particularly a man about my age? A man? Nope, nobody. He's who you're looking for? Yeah, though I don't really know who he is. Tell me if you see him, okay? You got it. Doubt anyone would be here, though. Oh, but can I ask something, too? Professor Andrew, he always helped me out. His room's on the third floor, but it's got a code, so I can't get in. I was thinking the professor might still have some lecture notes for me around or something. But yeah, tell me if you get it open, okay? Alright. Got it. I'll wander around some more, then. You look like crap, so don't push yourself. Yeah, well, you can be careful too. If you see any monsters, get away. Not this again. Yeah, yeah, sure. I've got a knife to defend myself anyhow. Smell ya. Smell you later. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe he's not as bad as I thought. Oh, and I've got an energy drink now too. Okay, 1709 is the thing that I'm going to use. So Andrew's room is on the third floor. We're on the second right now. And I'm assuming it's over here because I don't remember an Andrew on the other side. Is this it? Andrew Robinson. Oh, it's a sick digit. Oh. Okay, so it's a sick dig six digit pin. So it's actually his ID. It's not the year that was used in the paper, which I, is what I thought it was. So I thought it was the 1709, but it's not. It's his actual ID because it's a six-digit pin. 144246. Okay, I've got to remember that. 144246. Say it with me, everyone. 144246. Come on. I can't hear you. Say it with me. Speak up louder. 144246. One, four, four, two, four, six. It unlocked. Let's read his journal. Looks like some sort of diary. Finally done with the finals. I'm glad everyone got their appropriate grades. Of course, there's that lone D. I teach him so much, but he doesn't even get the basics. He's lagging behind everyone else, and yet he's so intent on being a lawyer. That's good for him. That nickname, D, stands for dreamer. Apparently it was given to him for having such an impossible dream. But if you ask me, it's for the grade he'll always get. 
I hate how he fawns over me too. I practically have to act nice to him, and he always comes for lessons after school. I wish I'd never let him in my class. That's horrible. I just hope he gives up on his dream soon and finds another path. This is about D? It's awful that he'd say this about a student, though maybe D really is that bad. Yeah, see, it is that awful that he'd say that about a student. It's awful that he'd say that in general, but especially as a teacher. If D saw this, it'd be a big shock for him. He said he respected his professor and always tried so hard. There, I tore the page out. Wouldn't want D coming in and finding this. Got a page from Andrew's diary. Good. We're saving him. Saving him the pain of having to read that. Shelves are empty. Huh? Oh no. That monster's still wandering around. Is he looking for me since he couldn't kill me? I'm gonna have to persuade D to leave. It's way too dangerous here. I'll go look for him. Okay, well, we know the crooked man was going that way, so I'm not going that way. Uh, I'm just gonna, like, run into each of these rooms super fast, just like I did with CC. Gonna see if I can find D. AOD. D. You in here? But he's in the basement. D. There's no D here. What about on the other side? D. Oh, wait. Did I already do these? Yeah. I did this whole floor. I just wasn't thinking. That was it. Okay? Don't judge me. D. You in here, dude? Where's my boy D at? Is he in the bathroom? Is he in the bathroom crying? D, where are you? It's gonna make me search this whole school for him. Okay, so I, the only other places to check are the third floor and the basement. The door's unlocked. D's in here. I have a really bad feeling about this. The air feels kind of heavy. Just what is this? Wait, I'm going to stay out for a second just so I can save right here in front of the door because I feel like this is going to lead into something. It's going to be irreversible. Fine, go in. D! Oh no. Hey D, what's wrong? Get up! Uh, my head. I feel like crap. Now that you mention it, it's a little hard to breathe. What's going on here? It's gas. Huh? The floor's leaking gas. You gotta get out! Oh no! Why? Why is he so intent on trying to kill me? It it's here. Not gonna let not gonna let us go? Crap! The gas is pouring in. I'll be poisoned if I'm not quick. Okay. Oh, I can't save. Okay. Got an iron pipe. Box won't open. What can I use the iron pipe on? Do I use the iron pipe on the door? Yes, I get it. I'm coughing. What do I do with sink or swim? Leave the room. Okay, so that was a bad idea. That's fair. Bad idea. My bad. All right, let's try this again. All righty. Gonna try this again. 
go in. I'm going to see D. We can just skip through all this because I already read it. Uh, my head feel like crap. Now that you mention it, it's gas. The floor is leaking gas. I can't skip it any faster than this. I'm trying. And then he's out there. Is there anything I can do with the room at all? Nothing on the shelves. Destroy with iron pipe. Uh. Uh. Wait, there was another door over here. There's another door over here, right? Oh. Wait. It's a crack in the wall. I have the hammer. Maybe I'll widen the crack with the hammer. Let's try it. Oh. Oh, I'm in a different room. Okay. The elevator's here. Go to the second floor's reference room, but the doors won't open. Oh, I have the crowbar! I have the crowbar! I, I definitely skipped what he said. I just got very nervous. I think he just said, can I pry it open with the crowbar? In the elevator, I can go up through the door in the ceiling. Oh, no. Why can't I move? There we go. Oh, that was how was the floor leaking gas? Surely the crooked man did not do that. <sighs> I managed to escape. Hey D, are you okay? I'll get you to the infirmary. Hang in there. D, are you sure you're okay? You don't want to go to a hospital? What if you get poisoned? <laughs> I'm fine. My head hurts like hell and I feel gross, but I'll get better. Thanks, dude. I'd be screwed without you around. I owe you my life. There's a water storage in the basement and once I and I once heard about it leaking gas. Only just remember that now. It was after I graduated, so I don't know for sure, but I think there was a dispute over the property, so the school moved and this got abandoned. I see. We really shouldn't have come Oh, I definitely did not give him his voice for that entire conversation. I see, but you really shouldn't have come if you knew it was dangerous. Sh shut up, I just sort of forgot, okay? There, his voice is back. For any anyone that was concerned, it was only the first part of the conversation. His voice is back. Man, you think all this hap had happened when I was just came here to relax? Should have just stayed at home studying. It's good to get a breather, sure. Just not an abandon of runes, okay? It's really something, though. That definitely said ruins, not runes. I don't know what I was thinking. You're still studying three whole years after you graduated. Maybe I am dyslexic. Well, I always wanted to be a lawyer ever since I was a kid. No matter what, I will be a lawyer. So I kept studying and I still do and there's no changing my mind. I see. But you're awesome yourself, climbing the elevator while carrying me, you're buffer than you look. Oh, well, <laughs> I did go to flight school. Serious? That's awesome. Really can't judge a book by its cover, eh? But anyway, once you get out of here already, it's all kinds of dangerous here, and I'm not looking after you anymore. I know, I know. Well, it was nostalgic and refreshing while it lasted. I'll just rest here a little and go. You do that. I'll be going. Oh, hey, hold on a sec. You dropped something. Here, you... Oh, no. Wait, what? Huh? Huh? This looks like Professor Andrew's writing. Why'd you have this? Hey, wait. Oh, hey, wait. Don't read that. Huh? Dreamer. The grade he'll always get. Hey, what's this about? How, why did the professor... This is how we really felt. Oh, no. The music that kicked in. But you supported me. You said I'd be a lawyer someday. That's what you told me. Hey. D. Calm down. 
D. Oh, that guy is in no condition, and that monster's bound to find him. I have to go after him. You already know I got a spastically save. Where's he at? D, where'd you go? Wait, did he go in here? Is he back in here again? Because this is where he went to watch the tape. No? D, where'd you go? D, I s oh, there he is. D, there you are. Thank goodness. Oh, isn't you? At least that I wasn't a genius or anything. But why didn't they just say it? I respected Professor Andrew because he always supported me. Sure, I'm kind of dumb. I've been teased. <sighs> Constantly for it. I failed the test five times of a failure. I'm a failure at getting sleep because I keep yawning. But aren't I free to dream? I've always dreamt of being a lawyer. That's why I still study so hard. Why did I have to be like this? Was everything I did for nothing? I didn't know what to do anymore. D. That's life, isn't it? You shouldn't give up. Mm -hmm. oh, you shouldn't give... I don't know, because I feel like David's response is going to... It should be the harsher one. But I would want to tell him to not give up. Okay, I'm going to close my eyes. I wish I had a webcam so you guys could see. I'm going to close my eyes and I'm just going to go between them. That's life, isn't it? Okay, so that so I chose the harsh approach. So more of what seems to be David Speed, what he would actually say. I mean, you weren't cut out for it. What? Just looking at you kind of irritates me. Maybe it reminds me too much of myself. You need to wake up. Aren't there enough hopeless idealists in the world as it is? You shut up! Yeah, I'm stupid. I'll keep studying, though. Everyone's lacking in something or another. In, ca in your case, it was your intelligence. Oh, wait. That was David that said all that. Why do I keep doing that? I'm sorry, David. I keep giving your lines to other people. You want a piece of me? In my case, it was my eyes. Huh? Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a test pilot. I studied hard and I made it to flight school, but I was colorblind. Strange, isn't it? Just a few colors you can't see and you suddenly have no right to fly. It seems obvious to me now, but back then I couldn't even comprehend this way. I faked my vision results to get into the school. I spent three years playing innocent, even managed to be an honor student. But I was found out. On the day of the pilot exam, no less. That day, <sighs> I was reduced from an honor student to a filthy traitor. I dropped out, and now I'm just some nobody clerk. You know, I hope that one day someone can just cut all of my yawns out of these videos and just make a yawning compilation of me, because it'll probably go on forever. But that's besides the point. I don't mind if you still want to be a lawyer, but I just want to say something. I accidentally skipped it. Ain't it rough? Wasn't it your, your childhood dream? It certainly was hard. It still is. But looking at you, I realized... It's not much, but I make my own money. I have a girlfriend, and I drink with my buddy, and I enjoy my life for what it is. But you don't have a girlfriend. She literally left you, David. Are you okay? I didn't want to recognize I'd been set back, but I can't deny where I am now, nor all the work I put in back then. Are you happy with what you had now? Yes. Though I didn't quite notice it. My life is how I choose. My life is how I choose it to be. So I shouldn't regret it. How about you? Uh, I won't give up. Because, because it's always been my dream to be a lawyer. I see. So I'll just... One more time. I'll try the bar exam. But if I fail, that's it. I made up my mind. I'll give up for good then. But it won't mean those three years were a waste. Right, David? Yeah, of course. 
I just punched my microphone again. That's two times in one episode, I think. Is there any point to staying here? Let's go. I'll take you home if you want. Yeah. Thanks. Huh? David? What's up? Oh, no. No! No! Why is he back? Okay. What? Hey, David. D, get out of the school. I'll keep him away. Got it? What? No, let's go together. This guy's bad news. He's chased me. Who knows how many miles. It's me this monster is after. I'll take care of it. All right. You just won't die, will you? I'll finish you off this time. No, whoa, that was not okay. Whoa, I do not appreciate that. Holy crap, I do not appreciate. Oh. Why does he keep doing that? No, 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 stop. What the heck? Okay. No, stop it. How did he get me to 10 already? What is this? Okay. Oh, my health's only at 50. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have the energy drink. Can I use that? Oh, okay. So it's going to use it on my health. That only gave me 30 health. Okay. Okay, let me, let me turn the music down just a little bit on this. So I can concentrate. Okay. <sighs> no, stop, 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 stop. <sighs> Come on, okay. Okay. Okay, no, stop, stop, stop. <sighs> no, stop. No, 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 no. No, stop it. How can he keep doing that? Why did he randomly get fast all of a sudden? Okay, I'm going to take it right off the bat. Okay, let's see where it goes. No. Ooh. 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 no, 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 stop. <sighs> Come on. Okay, this is the last time I'm going to try. And if I have to keep doing it, I'm just going to cut. Okay. <sighs> no, stop. How many times do I have to hit this guy? Okay. I'm gonna do it one more time. Just one more time. No. No, stop it. <sighs> I 
Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next part. Duh. I hope you enjoyed the video. For now. Bye.